Hi, my name is Peter. I got the website Builder Boeing. Um, I thought why not make a video um, on the blog instead of just writing all the time. So this is a small video of my project. This is just an introduction. Later on, I'll post some videos with with specific items that I've done um, and what I've done. For those of you who know what I'm doing, you can skip the next like 10-15 seconds. For those of you that don't know, I'm trying to build a Boeing 737 cockpit in full scale in my basement at home. Um, and so I'll just give you a tour of, of the basement. This is the pedestal um, which I've been building and this is the rest of the cockpit as of now. Everything here is disassembled right now. Um, more on that later. So this is the small room in my basement. We've taken all the shelves out and put them upstairs. So there's room for the cockpit. It's just a small room in the basement. Um, basement tour. Here is my work shed which is very messy. Um, my wife's picking at me because I always call her messy and whenever I do that she just shakes her head and points downstairs and says, Peter, I think you're the messy one here. So, this is where I do most of my things. Um, up here is wires, connectors, and down here all these pieces of what is actually the start of a homemade throttle. Here's a handle that should be cut out. So, in here in the basement. Sorry for if it's, if it's a bit wobbly here. Here's the main instrument panel. Right now everything is taking apart. Um, one lesson I've learned so far is you need to do everything twice. So you do it and then a few months later you take everything apart and build it again. But what we have here is there's a 19 inch monitor there. The other one goes here. It's next door. And there's a 15 inch monitor here for the ins engine instruments. Two computers. Um, one is is uh, getting all the inputs from uh, switches and outputs for LEDs and the other one is uh, just flight simulator and on the one on the right right there I got ProSim 737 installed as well nothing is interfaced so far um, over here behind we have underneath here there's a um, open cockpits USB expansion card which connects to a master card over here and the second master card at the pedestal and what you see there with the light on is a servo, um, open cockpit servo card. Um, there's also a separate power supply unit here um, for driving uh, LEDs and seven segment displays and backlight and so forth. The structure right now is, as you can see, pretty much raw. Um, I hope later the, today or tomorrow to be able to put in the um, main instrument panel front plate which should go from right across. I just need to lower the two 19 inch monitors a few centimeters so there's room for the panel, that's why it's all taken apart. Hopefully later today or tomorrow I'll be able to show you a more complete cockpit. So that's more or less it for now. Um, you can see what I'm doing. Just to show you the pedestal here I've been working on. It's been half a year since I started and that, that's why how far I am right now. It's assembled, it's complete, but not yet not interfaced with open cockpit, so it's not working in that matter um, because you can't control anything with it. But it is behind here, uh, all electronics is working. I only got five uh, panels actually working that's the, um, ra the COM radio, navigation, ADF, transponder, and the navigation radio up there. The rest of the panel is just dummies uh, for now, but along the way, I might interface more with it. Last thing I want to show you is over here. That's my wife's office in the basement here. Um, there it is, the beauty. That's the back side of the main instrument panel. Um, see if I can turn it around so you can see. Careful. There we are. Main instrument panel. More on that later today, hopefully, when I get it installed. That's all for now. See you later. Bye.